Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. And I really hope that the student in my school, I mean, her school, are coming today because uh, finally, you know, one of the class, they started to read this dictionary together in the class. All right, thank you. Hello, hello. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoy my live here. All right, so teacher, I have to call teacher. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Elmo. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm okay as usual. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming and you know you're getting up all in the morning. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's get started. We finally, oh yeah, we finally can read E part, right? Do you know alphabet, Elmo? Yeah, of course I know. Can you tell me where is E? So let's say A, B, C, D, E. So this is the fifth word, uh, not the word, letter. Oh, yes, finally. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, uh, where is it? We, where are we? Ah, oh, 68. Okay, I, I didn't see the page number here. 68 and 69. Okay, so uh, let's find someone first. Okay, let's find the Grover, everybody. Where is Grover? Grover, Grover, Grover. I think you found already. Here he is, exactly. All right, Elmo, what is he doing? Where is he? Okay, so first of all, you ask me uh, what he is doing, right? So um, he is actually working mm -hmm, in, uh, in his farm, I think. Uh -huh. I mean, or farm or garden, whatever. Yeah, all right. And uh, oh, that's you, what you said. Oh, really? Yes, you just told me he's working. Mm -hmm. And uh, you told me where uh, he's working. Exactly. So where is always, you know, coming at the end of the sentence like this comes end. Where and when. Okay, so uh, who's next? Who's next? Okay. I'm gonna give you a question. Uh, where is Oscar? Oscar? Oh, Elmo. Uh huh. You're blocking. Oh, you are? Hmm. You're still blocking. Oh, oh, really? Um. Oh, I see Oscar behind Elmo. Oh, I tried to hide Oscar <laughs> with my body. No, no, Elmo. Let me see. Oh, sorry, sometimes I, my brain doesn't work. Okay, let me see Elmo. Okay, I let you see. Here we go. Grover. Not the Grover, Elmo. Who is this? Oscar. Yes, Oscar Crouch. But he doesn't look like... I mean, he doesn't look so grouchy this time. Mm, I think so. He's, he looks pretty happy today. <laughs> okay, that's weird. All right. So let's let's begin, right? If we spend too much time before reading, we can't finish the dictionary. <laughs> okay. All right. Each first of all, each means every or everyone. Hey, each, every or everyone. Hmm. You can use it in many sentences like each one, or you can get uh, one cookie each like this. Okay. So let's see. She says. Each of us has a balloon. Each balloon is a different color. Exactly. What color uh, do you see? So this little bird has a, mm -hmm, a blue balloon. Exactly. How about this girl has a green balloon. Very nice. All right. How about this boy with glasses? Oh, oh just a second. Oh, looks like he's holding this balloon, but not. He is holding this balloon, which is red, right? And then the last girl um, holding a yellow balloon. Very good. How many balloons do you see, Elmo? One, two, three, four. Four balloons. Okay. Which balloon is the biggest? Oh, you mean biggest one? Yeah. I think the green. Oh, this one is the biggest one. All right. How about the smallest one, Elmo? Smallest balloon is, I believe, yellow. 
Yes, I think so. The yellow balloon is the, the smallest one, right? Okay, so uh, the season is, of course, in summer, right? <laughs> Because they wear bathing suits like this. Okay, so what's next? Ear, exactly. Your ear is the part of your body that you use for hearing. Look up the word body. Okay, so whenever you, you know, you see, look up the word body, you just go back to this body. Can you see here? So you can see all parts of your body uh, with this um, Arnie and Bert, right? Okay, so then ear and hear, they're rhyming. That's right, ear here. Mm -hmm. Bert is holding the clock next to his ear. He can hear the clock ticking, ticking, like tick tock, tick tock, like this, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, so ear makes the sound here, right? Okay, all right, next, Ollie, Ollie in the morning. Yeah, exactly. This is the time you can say Ali in the morning. Ali means too soon. All right. So, what is it? What is it, Elmo? It's the sun. Yeah, sun rises here. I think a bit earlier than than now, I guess. Okay. So another Ali here. Let me read. Okay. Ali can also mean near the building. Mm -hmm. The sun rises early in the morning. Sorry, not the big building. Oh, that didn't uh, make sense to me. Okay, let me read one more time. This is a lie. That's why I make mistakes sometimes. Ali can also mean near the beginning. Oh, phew. I, I, was, I was here, what? Near the building? No, no. Okay, that, that helps me sometimes when I'm reading aloud. You know, the sound just uh, knocking on my... My, my brain, my head. Uh-uh, you made a mistake. All right. So, as I said, Ali in the morning. Hmm. All right, so who do you see? Arnie and Grouchy. No, no, Elmo. Bert, I know. Okay, so Bert, did I miss the parade? Oh, there was a parade or something early in the morning, maybe? No, Arnie, you're early. It hasn't started yet. Oh, I see. So they planning to see a parade or something, and that's why he has a binoculars and a camera. Maybe take a, the you know parade, mm -hmm. take pictures, right, of the parade. All right, let's move on to Earth. Oh, there are another Earth. Two Earth right here. Words. Excuse me. Okay, Earth is the name of the planet on. <coughs> excuse me. Which we live. Mm -hmm. Which we live. So when you use Earth this way, which means the planet of this, planet Earth, planet Earth, like this, astronaut Grover can see the, the planet Earth. Excuse me, my, oh, I have a frog on my throat. Okay. Mm. So he is an astronaut now. Mm -hmm. What is this, Elmo? Huh? Oh, it's a rocket. Right? Mm, exactly. Okay, how about uh, this Grover Elmo? I already asked you where he where he was. Oh, uh, I think he's working mm -hmm, in Farmer Grover's garden. Right, okay, so, but here's the word another uh, way to use earth, right? Earth is also another word for ground, okay? So when you use earth in, you know, this way, you put the earth, so instead, you know, just a simple word earth. The earth in Farmer Grover's garden is good for growing carrots, like this. Does it make sense? Yeah, okay, so. Well, maybe if I translate to Japanese, daichi in Japanese, maybe. Daichi te kan desu ne? Ne, jimen desu ne. Okay, next. Easy. Okay, easy peasy, right? When something is easy, you do not have to work hard to do it. Mm, okay, so she said, this is easy. I like it, this is easy. But the other girl said, this is hard, right? So, as you see, the opposite word of easy is hard, hard. Yeah, that's why I love this dictionary because you can, you can see both words, right, at the same time. 
So you can learn easy and hard at the same time in the same picture, right? Hmm? The same picture? Yeah, I think I'm <laughs> in this picture anyway. Okay, so next, oh, I underline uh, eat here. When you eat, you swallow uh, food. Well, from me, it's like food, but it, I think food, right? So what did you eat for lunch? I ate a peanut butter sandwich. So when you look at the word in a dialogue like this, eat become ate when you want to use uh, in the past tense like this. So he ate, right? Yesterday, mm -hmm. that's why he changed the word, like eat, ate. Mm -hmm. And also E-A-T uh, rhymes with uh, lots of words like meat, um, feet, or uh, not the feet, feet is a different word. Eat, like meat, meat or fish, you know, meat, eat. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe sometimes uh, the word is too too short. That's why, um, you know, I, I just under underline all the part, but you can find uh, the word rhyming, uh, rhyming with eat. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Next, egg. An egg is a round or oval uh, thing that holds a baby animal until it is ready to be born. Mm, okay. So, how many eggs do you see, Alma? Oh, that's the question. Mm, okay. Just one. One, two. I think one, two, three, four, maybe. Aha. Uh -huh, one of them. One of the eggs. You know, you see a baby bird. Mm. Okay, very pretty. Aren't they cute? That's what he said. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cute and pretty. Uh -huh. All right, so the last word here, eight. Eight is a number. Eight is one more than seven. One more than seven. Mm, okay. Oscar has eight tin cans in his used can collection. All right, so let's see the tin can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tin can. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he collect. He collects tin cans like this. Mm, okay. Wow. There are so many monsters. You know, like to collect something. Emma. Oh yes. Okay, so I think we still have a time. Let's move on to the next page. All right, 70 to 71. Oh, again, you see, what is this, Elmo? A number 18. Exactly, okay. 18 is a number. 18 is 10 plus 8 more. So 18 is 10 plus more, which is 10. Red marbles are 10, right? Okay. So Arnie has 10 red marbles and 8 blue marbles. He has 18 marbles all together. Right. Okay. Oh, I think um, we can learn very funny way. <laughs> A lot of things in very funny way on both pages. Okay. Uh, either or either. Well, I take either of um when I read. Okay, so either either means one or the other. All right, so who do you see? Oh, Oscar. Okay, and uh, whose name? I forgot her name. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, Oscar, you can have either the red roses or the stinkweed. Red roses? Yeah, I will take the stinkweed. Hmm, okay. So roses are countable, right? Like this, rose. Roses, but stinkweed is always a single, like stinkweed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elbow. Your elbow is in the middle of your arm. Elbow. So everybody, mm -hmm. elbow, touch your elbow. Okay, if you're not sure, look at the picture. That's the part you call elbow, right? Your elbow is in the middle of your arm. Your arm bends at the elbow. Okay, look at the word body. Yeah, again, look at the word body. So Betty Lou has a bandage on her elbow. Elbow, here, bandage, bandage, like this. Mm -hmm. You see what's the bandage, right? Okay, so uh, I just uh, underline here, bow, right? What comes to your mind, Elmo, uh, when you think about you know, the word rhyming with elbow. Mm, how about rainbow? Exactly, bow. And you can also say bow as a, you know, as a word, bow. Mm -hmm. But rainbow, elbow, bow, they're all rhyming, okay? 
So next are elephant. An elephant is a big grey animal with a long nose called a trunk. So as you see, which is an elephant? <laughs> this? No! How about this? Yes! Okay, so B is of course an elephant, right? How about A, Elmo? Oh, the picture of A. Aha, uh -huh. it is a hippo. Or you can, call, you can say hippopotamus, but you can say hippo. All right, how about C? Who is this? Oh, this is Big Bird, best friend. Mm -hmm. Snuffle up, guys. Hey, Snuffle. Hey, Elmo. Which of these animals is an elephant? Of course, B. All right, so next. Elevator. An elevator takes people or things up and down in the building. So, uh, Grover is working. Mm -hmm. Going up. Grover, the elevator operator, uh, operates an elevator. So, I think some of you mm -hmm. remember you saw this picture on the. I have to go back. Sorry. Uh, where was that? Here, page thirty-seven. Yes. You see the uh, uh, operator Grover, right? So here, the same sentence. Grover, the op uh, elevator operator, is pushing the button for the 10th floor, but in a different word, bottom, right? But sometimes the picture, you know, one picture and two pictures, but uh, oh, it's so hard to tell you what important it is to, to see, uh, you know, the same picture, you know, back and forth like this. Um, let me let me explain in Japanese. Ah, uh, この辞書はですね、ここがすごく面白いんですね。あの意外と大人もあのページが近いと覚えてるんですけど、子供はね絶対覚えてますね。でお子様が多分ですね、見たよ僕って言うと思うんですね。I saw Grover on the other page ね。And then going back like this. どこだろうどこだろうってやる。もうこれどんどんやらしてあげてくださいね、お母さん。これね、あ戻らないで今日はほらここまでやるんでしょとかそんなこと全然やらなくていいので。<笑> oh my God, I'll put you dive into the Ah, yes. Um, so, なんです本当にねこのあの絵が同じで絵が同じっていうもので違う言葉とかあの類義語とかそういうのを覚えていくっていうのが一番あの子供があの覚えやすいというかというか私は思うんですけど人間が覚えやすいあの回路っていうのがやっぱり絵それから音だと思いますねだから。絵と音を無視して本当に文字だけでいこうとすると本当にハードにあのなっていくものが意外とあこんなに絵を使うと難しいと思ってた類義語が終わっていったりするんだなっていうのがねあ,のあるんですよね。私はいつも自分がそれを体験しているので<笑>ついついこうやってシェアしたくなるんですけどね。なのでここやっぱり同じセンテンスで「Grover the Elevator Operator」って言ってますよね。こっちもそう。Elevator Operator って言っているのでやっぱりそうだなっていう感じでこのグローバーちゃんの、ね、お仕事は「Elevator Operator」っていうのはとってもこうビビッドにですね子供の心に残っていきますね。OK、so Elmo come back! OK、so let, let me read!OK、okay. So, Elmo,、uh, how about the other,、uh, the next word? Eleven. Oh, eleven is a, another number, right, Elmo? Yes, eleven is a number. Eleven is ten plus one more. Okay, Elmo, what do you see here? Oh, oh,、uh, I see.、Mm -hmm. uh, ten socks, yes, between the buildings, right? And one sock is in his hand, yes. I think Bird is holding one hand and、uh, This sock is a,、uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's not、uh, in good condition, I guess. あまりいい状態じゃない感じですね。Yeah, it's in bad condition. You can't wear this sock anymore. Bird has ten socks that match and one sock that does not match. Oh, I see. He has, he has eleven socks all together. Right, okay. You know, the pattern of the sock. Is different from the other socks, right?、Mm, all right. So, eleven, then, eleven, and then like seven. Uh huh. You can, you can say, right? The rhyming.、Uh, seven, eleven. Do you know what's seven eleven? I 
they said it's a convenience store in Japan. Right, okay, 7 Eleven. All right, so next one empty. When something is empty, there is nothing or no one in it. All right, so which jar is empty, Elmo? Oh, which jar is empty? Just a second. This jar, right? Why? Uh, why this jar is empty, teacher? Yes, uh, because uh, Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster ate them all. All right, that's right. Okay, so here's what the Cookie said. The cookie jar is full. Mm, the cookie jar is empty. So what's the word of the opposite of the empty Elmo? Oh, everybody? Full, exactly full, right? So full, empty. I guess a student in my school, uh, they learned the uh, opposite word uh, using uh, opposite card. Like uh, we play, we play game a lot. So yeah, playing game, uh, you know, helps children remember the lo lots of words, mm -hmm. especially like uh, opposite word, like up and down, empty, full, like. Like this. Okay, so next one. And the end is the very last part of something. Okay, big bird is standing at the end of the line. Hmm. All right. Maybe they're going to the you know playhouse, uh, which is this, I guess. Mm hmm. And again, when something ends, it is over. The play will end when the curtain comes down. The end. So another. Right, another picture here, uh, which reminds you of uh, this, right? During page 67, you see the same, right, stage, like this. But here, during, and here, and. All right, okay. So I guess uh, I think it's time to, to finish, probably. Okay, so today, this time is 20. 25. <笑> 25回目です。皆さん、今日、皆さん来てくださってありがとうございました。じゃあ、また来週お会いしましょう。Thank you so much for coming. Uh, let's see uh, next week. Okay, Elmo. Thank you, everybody. So, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <笑>